Once you've finished working on your slideshow, you're going to want to show it to your friends, to your families, it might even be for a client. So what could be nicer than customising the menu? And that's exactly what we're going to have a look at doing now. Now to do this, we're going to come to Create Output. We're going to click on this. It doesn't matter which one you choose, in principle, they are all exactly the same. We're going to come to PC Executable. Let's click on this. This opens the Create Executable. It could be Create DVD, whatever you've selected. Menu is the first thing you'll see. Now if we click on this, you can see it's got no menu. Clicking on each of these will open the background we've selected there. There is a huge range of them. But to make life just a little bit easier, under Theme, from the drop-down menu, they've actually got them in sort of the floral ones, uh, corporate ones, you'll notice there's far fewer now, so make it far more manageable. The ones, there you are, there's some good ones as well for weddings. The one I'm actually after is seasonal, and that one there looks pretty good. The other thing you can also do is download more menus. If there isn't already enough for you, click on this. Off you go to the Photodex website. It'll check your system, it'll update existing ones you've got. Absolutely terrific. I have done a video on this already, so check that out. You'll also find that online. And make sure your whole thing is up to date. Coming across layout, this is when we can choose how many shows we have. We can select from one, we can have two, we can have them as a list rather than thumbnails, three, four, whatever you want, it's all there both as a list and as thumbnails. We're going to keep this simple, just choosing one thumbnail in the centre. Right, let's click on title, let's give our show a title, we're going to call this one um, Colours in Nature. There you go. You could just as easily, if you've produced this as a, for your wedding, for a client, whatever, put your name in there, put your company name in there, whatever you want. I've just chosen to put the name of the show in. You'll also notice I've got a bit of a blank in the center. I'm not going to worry about this because we're going to come to show. Coming across, select menu title. In other words, at the moment, if you had several shows listed here, it's just shown as Pro Show One, so I'm going to come in here, and once again, I'm going to call this. Uh, what we're going to call it Colors in Nature. Clicking OK to that, you'll notice this has now changed. Don't pay any attention to these. I'm purely a slideshow I've put together for a bit of a demo purpose. Now coming across, it's still blank. So let's have a look at selecting the menu thumbnail. Let's click on the button. Let's come into this. Now we've got a choice. You can choose it as a slide from your show or from file. You'll notice clicking on this, this button's been come live. Click on browse, have a look on your hard drive, pick the image that you think works well with your particular show. We're going to come back to slide from show, clicking on this one I think will work, or that one I think will look very well. Once we clicked and we selected it, apply selected slide, in it pops, Click in done, and there it is, in it goes. Right, let's just take a look. This is, you know, when you start the show off, you get that swoosh and Pro Show pops up. If you don't want to show it, you can switch it off. Click in there, it will switch it on. You can also create your own sort of introduction slideshow, and we will be covering that in further videos. Once we're happy, we can come back to menu. In the menu, you notice I've changed back to the curtains. Let's just pop back down to seasonal. In it goes there, and let's click on customize menu, which will take us to the next dialog. Right, let's have a look. Layers. Working in layers again, there's our thumbnail. You'll notice we've got a border around it. What we can do now is we can make this as big or as small as we want. We can bring it up. We can perhaps just cover over the text part. That could look pretty good, couldn't it? Bring it into the center. It's got some nice composition lines pop in just so we can see exactly how it's looking. You might want to open it up full screen. That could look extremely good as well. Let's pop down to the editing tab. With this, we can drop the opacity down, perhaps blend it with the background. We can change the brightness, the white point right the way through. Give it a try. See what works for you. Editing. Again here we can come in, we can rotate it, we can flip it, you can add shadows to it, outlines, colorize it, whatever you want. We can do the whole thing here. Let's just take a look at the captions. There's the captions. You'll notice I've got two colors in nature. Clicking on the bottom one there, that's for the top one, the bigger one. So let's make it bigger. Let's take it up. You'll notice we can actually stretch it 
to fit the screen as well. You can of course just come into this and from the drop down menu there you can select the font size. We can change the font of the text. Let's just come and have a look at see how they work. No, I'm not sure that works particularly well with that. So let's just come into this and let's scroll through and that looks good, like that one. Again, we can reposition that, change it to bold, to uh, uh, what's the word, that slanty writing, that's the word, script, thank you very much. We can change the colour of it, clicking on this, we can bring the colour in, let's give it a bit more of an autumn theme. That looks better in that colour there, perhaps darken it down just a wee bit, so pulling that across, clicking on set colour once you're happy, you can also apply an outline to it. That looks pretty good and a drop shadow just to make things stand out. With our second colours down here, there it is, again making it bigger or smaller. Now not everybody knows what to do and how to get the show to play so why not put in sort of uh, click to play show. There you are, so now they can see exactly how we can do this again or how we can get the show to play. We can pull it up, make it a little bit bigger reposition it. We've also got loophole, there it is there. If you don't want it, swipe across, delete, it's gone. We can now click back on this, we can reposition it. Again we can use these composition lines just to help us bring it into the right composition. Okay, let's have a look at music. Now you might want to have music as an introduction, so when the, slide, when the show pops up you can have your own music. This is where we can make this happen. Click in browse add files from and just move to where you can keep your sort of music to make things just a little bit quicker and easier for me. I've put it on my desktop and I'm going to click OK to that. Now when we click play this is going to show us any... there it is. So when the show opens, thank you very much, the music will come in as well. What could be better? Right, don't answer that one. Coming back to this, don't forget we can make this again, we can sort of perhaps drop it down in size we can also come into this. We can select file from, add image file and again if I just quickly pop to this we can choose to add our own file from this one. Let's drop down to where we're going to go to that one there. can look pretty good. Let's click open. It's now gone in behind. Let's make this bigger. Zoom it in so it's size there. Let's click back on this layer. And again, you can see the way we can customize the whole thing. Let's bring it so the text is covering that. Once we're happy, back on settings, we can click OK. In it goes, and there it is. So you can customize your whole slideshow just to show your images off. Make it just a little bit more personal. Your customers, your clients, your friends, your relatives will really appreciate that. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, please join me again soon. If you have any comments, please leave them on the blog, leave them with the, uh, the videos. You can, of course, subscribe to these in both iTunes and in YouTube. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.